The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. You may feel self-conscious discussing your body's intimate details, but breast surgeon Dr. Christy Funk says there's nothing to be ashamed of and is giving you the breast case scenario <laughs> on your uh -huh. most common and embarrassing breast issues. And who better to do it than Dr. Funk? Why, thank you. <laughs> First and up, fruity. nipple hair. What's it for? Why is it there? So let's look at the kiwi. The center, it's not really nipple hair. That would be a reportable phenomenon. The nipple is the part that sticks out. And then the base around your nipple is the areola, the pigmented part. That transitions into skin. Skin is just skin. We've got 50 million hair follicles on our skin. So a few unwelcome strays are bound to land at the edge. So having maybe 10 to 20 little hairs that grow where these black seeds are is completely normal. If you have as many as this kiwi though, that might be polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS. You might wanna go see your doctor for that. Uh, the number you have, it's hereditary, so you can thank your mama for that. But why <laughs> they grow is usually stimulated by hormones. So puberty, pregnancy, birth control pills will sprout them. If you don't like them, it's fine to pluck them. You can even use electrolysis, which permanently gets rid of them, but never use the creams, the creams that remove hair. That can be very damaging. All right, next up we have nipples or nipple pimples. Again, it's, nipples. sometimes you get a little pimple on the nipple, a little overgrowth. You wanna see your doctor you probably remove that, but it's never dangerous. So in our grapefruit here, we've got the central nipple, again, our areola. You can end up getting, because again, it's skin, acne or little blackheads that form at the edge right there. Mm. And while they're unsightly, don't squeeze them because that can really cause some inflammation and um, even get a little pus in there. And then you're like, really, really? I wanted to make it look better and now look at it. So um, just use the same face, facial washes that you use on your face. Treat your nipple like your face. Just gently cleanse it and <laughs> the acne will go away. Now in the middle, on the areola, I always get this question. People are like, what is that? And it's like a white pimple. And if you squeeze it, a little white dot of sebum comes out because these are sebaceous glands called Montgomery glands. Their purpose is apparently to lubricate the nipple. And they're so tempting to squeeze because that white stuff comes out. But honestly, squeeze as you may, you will never get rid of them. It's like trying to squeeze your nose off your face. Give it they're up. They're meant to be there. Leave it alone. Okay, finally, last topic, nipple discharge. Mm -hmm. So we have this squeezed lemon because if you squeeze your nipple and a little amber yellow colored fluid, green, gray, only with squeezing, I don't care. Squeeze all you want. The only two types of discharge I care about and should make you run to your doctor are, one, if you squeeze and it's bloody or brown or perfectly clear like water, see your doctor. And if it doesn't require squeezing, it just comes on out by itself. So it stains the inside of your bra cup or your nightgown. I've had women get out of the shower and the heat from the shower kind of makes them, they look in the mirror and then all of a sudden they actually see something drip out. Mm -hmm. So any spontaneous discharge of any color should be checked out. And then finally, if the nipple itself is itchy, flaky, dry, cracked, that could be, probably not, but could be Paget's disease, which is a form of breast cancer. So see your doctor. You know, oh. you, you know a lot about this. You should think about being a doctor who focuses <laughs> on this. Oh wait, you do. Uh -huh.